Hey, what's going on you guys? This is RNF Ryan Nintendo Freak back again with another video. So in today's video, I know that this is a little late and all that stuff, but I want to give my thoughts out there. I want to give you guys my thoughts on what I think about the rumors and the links for the whole entire new 4K Nintendo Switch that's supposed to be coming out in the year 2021. So anyways, let's dive in into the video. So the first thing that the new features, it's mostly just basically just the features and stuff that they announce and stuff. So I'm going to tell you guys my thoughts about what the features that the article said that I read and plus the things that I'm kind of like expecting for but I'm also a little concerned about. So anyways, well, here we go. So now the first feature for the new Nintendo 4K Switch Pro that I've been hearing from a lot of people on YouTube and plus from what I was reading on Google is that it's supposed to have a bigger screen. So this can go either way. Are they going to keep the Switch as the same size as what the original one is? And like um, maybe just making the screen bigger to get rid of those borders or something? Or also too, are they just going to like when they mean by bigger, are they going to make the extend the Switch a bit? But if they uh, extend the Switch, they might want to extend the Joy-Cons as well because it would the way how it would look... It would just look really bulky, but I just mostly hope that it, the Switch will still stay as the same size. But if they extend the, the screen, I don't mind how the screen looks on the original Switch. It's a good, decent size, but if they want to extend it, that'd be really good. But I just hope they'll keep it as the same size. And the second feature that I was also hearing as well for the new Switch is that it's supposed to have a better battery life. Now, I am 100% on board with this one as well because I realized something. The bigger the game, the more memory, I mean, that, the, that a game takes, the faster the battery life drains. Thanks to the Nintendo Switch, I became more of a handheld type of gamer as well. Mostly just because that where I live, it gets super hot. So the heat rises. My game room is upstairs in my room. And my Nintendo Switch dock is right here. So I do play my games on my TV screen. But ma the majority of the time when it's super hot, I play downstairs somewhere in my other room. So it's just kind of like um, I put a lot more effort into or I try to complete and put more effort into some of the games that I play as well. Like I know there's a lot of games that take a lot of memory on the Switch and all that stuff that are pretty big games. But I'm going to use Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as an example. When I play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and I'm playing it as a handheld mode... My Switch can be at 100% of battery power. Now, the original Switch, the maximum of like how long the Switch can last for for the original Switch is for three hours. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's a for sure thing, but that's what I heard. But it almost seems like that, like within like 30 minutes or 40 minutes, if I'm playing a game like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, my battery life drains. Like in 45 or 40 to like 30 some odd minutes, my, my battery would be like at 60%, 65% or close to 50%. So it's just kind of like you can't really like, it almost feels like that you're pressured because Oh, like you're you keep going back to your home you click the home button and sure enough you see like the switch battery just draining and it's like oh oh my switch needs to charge soon I need to stop soon but I'm in the middle of a good part I need to continue I need to get to this halfway mark and then all of a sudden your battery dies it's full dead or then you have to charge it so you have to stop so it's just kind of like in some so in some way it seems like I hope that like they will make it somehow to where the switch would have a better battery life and also the two i noticed that when i play a game such as like super smash bros i have nothing against super smash bros i love that game i love super smash bros ultimate it almost seems like i am picking on it but in my switch collection so far that's the only biggest game that i know so far that it does this with my switch now it's probably not my copy it probably might happen with a lot of like bigger games and stuff because i do have pretty big games but I also noticed when I play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it could be in handheld mode and also in dock mode. I realized that when I play on my original Switch, not only that the battery drains fast, but I hear, the, I hear my fan going and all that stuff. So it almost kind of seems like that, like sometimes I think like, 
oh shoot like what's going on like it almost feels like that your switch is kind of like like overheat or something like that but it's just kind of like oh shoot like what's going on then i turn it off and you could feel like all heated up and stuff so they find some way to where like the sw the newer upgraded switch can handle all that then that would be really good and really awesome so now that was all that the article said. So so far that's really good so far with the with the uh, with the features as well. Now let's get to the things that I'm kind of expecting for, but also to um, also a little concerned as well. So it's kind of like mix of both. Um, so now the rumors are for the new upgraded uh, Nintendo Switch Pro is that the Switch is going to be running in 4K. Now this could be good and also this could be bad in some parts as well because the majority, well some people, not even the majority, but some people are going to have a 4K TV, but then also there are going to be some people who don't even have a 4K TV screen. So I'm kind of hoping with this, if it does run in 4K, I'm hoping it's going to be something kind of like the 3DS. So like if you want to play games in 3D, you can move the notch up and you can play games in 3D. But then if you want to turn it off, you can move this little notch thing down and turn it off. And that's what I kind of hope for with the new 4K Switch Pro. Like, I hope that they add like a little button on top of the Switch. So like, you can hit on to play games in 4K, but then also too, you can also hit uh, off or something to where like you can play games on your 1080p standard TV screen. And another thing that I'm kind of concerned about is with newer video game consoles coming out as well. I don't know if this is 100% true, but some people are, some of my friends are saying like, Sony, when they make the new PlayStation 5, they want to make it to where there's no disc insert. It's going to be just straight on, like, if you want this new console, you're going to need to uh, download all kinds of, all, like, just digital only games. So I was kind of thinking, I was like, well, the Nintendo Switch is a really hot item. There's no way that Nintendo is going to be making a newer console anytime soon. Now there's going to be a new 4K upgraded Switch, and now I'm like, oh shoot. So now Nintendo does not work with Sony at all. So there is a possible chance with the new Nintendo Switch Pro that they might add a cartridge insert. Now, I have nothing against with digital. I wanna throw it out there. I have nothing against digital. I do buy digital uh, only games when there is no physical copies. But, and also too, in certain situations, I can see to where like um, digital copies are really super convenient, but by my opinion, I'm more into physicals. But now the last thing that I'm hoping for for the Nintendo Switch Pro is that it will be backwards compatible. So now let me explain with this one because I don't know if this technically does mean backwards compatible, but I'm gonna throw it out there as well just in case. And that is, um, I was kind of hearing from a couple of YouTubers that they were saying maybe Mario's 35th anniversary collection, Breath of the Wild 2, and the, the games that we're expecting for this big uh, Nintendo Direct that's supposed to be coming out soon, uh, these games probably might be exclusive only to the newer 4K upgraded Nintendo Switch. So now back again with the Nintendo 3DS as for an example. Um, you have the amazing Spider-Man right here to where like this is only exclusive to the 3DS to where you can play it only on the 3DS and no other uh, DS's. But with the Nintendo 3DS, not only that it just plays its own exclusive games, but as you guys can see right here, I am currently playing How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So now when I mean by backwards compatible, uh, this is what I kind of mean by with backwards compatible that I think for the Nintendo Switch Pro. But most likely, I think it probably will be like this. So now, overall, it kind of sounds like that I am fully against with the Nintendo Switch Pro. Uh, it's not that. I am very excited and very ex uh, very prepared, I mean, sorry, um, what Nintendo has in store for us and what they're going to deliver with the Nintendo Switch Pro. I am very excited and I can't wait to see if these rumors are true. The only two things that I'm very concerned about is one, if there's going to be a cartridge insert for video games, which I really do think that they will have that. Um, most likely they will add it. That's just a little nitpick and a little concerned. And mostly 
the biggest one is um, the support for 4K. Now, I can't really judge this too much because there's a lot of questions out there. If the new Switch Pro should support 4K, I can't really say too much about this because I don't really know what 4K looks like. I don't know what it can do and stuff. So it just depends on Nintendo on them. So yeah, so that's it you guys, so comment down below what you guys think about the rumors for the newer Switch. What are your guys' thoughts, like what are you guys expecting or something like that for the newer upgraded Switch? Or what, what do you guys think about the newer features that it's supposed to be having? I would like to hear your guys' thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also right next to that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that notification bell. So then you guys can be notified every single time I make a video. So, peace.